Hello there. This is going to be a general love reading for all signs. Whew. I don't know what I'm feeling. I feel it. I don't know how to articulate it. It's like a bum rush of feelings that comes in all at once. Red rose, no wonder. Red Rose is love, passion, and romance. Yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. Falling in love. A. <sighs> that makes perfect sense why I could feel it. I just don't know how to articulate it. This could be the way someone feels in regards to a love connection. I feel it, I just don't know necessarily what it is or how to articulate what I'm feeling. Bottom of the deck, you do have the clock tower, which is the countdown midnight hour and perfect timing. And if you followed me long enough, you know that they have channeled to me for years. He comes at the midnight hour. Black cat magic supernatural and luck their eyes are glowing so someone who when they look at you my eyes adore you though i never laid a hand on you my eyes adore you someone here has not touched you physically but their fucking eyes adore you they're enamored their eyes light up like this when they see you or they see your message or or they, they're, they hear you, whatever this is, when, when, when their eyes see you, it lights up. You have the lit match, bottom of the deck, spark creation, a new beginning, and yeah, there's some, some sort of spark in their eye. They feel a spark every time they look at you. Every time our eyes meet. Something inside me is almost more than I can take. It's, it's amazed, Lone Star. Baby, I'm amazed by you. Someone here is amazed. They're in a trance. They're hypnotized. They feel magic every time they look at you. There's a spark and it's huge and it's they don't know how to describe it. I mean, this is ugh, sometimes the way it happens, right? There's like no muggle words for it. I don't know how to describe what I'm feeling. I just know what I'm feeling. A stained glass window. This is a very sacred connection here. Very old, very ancient. Talks about a masterpiece. That's how they see you. You're a masterpiece to them. Exactly the way that you are. They wouldn't change a thing about you. They wouldn't change a thing. They, they don't want you to be younger, thinner, richer, poorer, uh, longer hair, shorter hair. They don't give a fuck. This is somebody here who just adores you. No strings attached. It's very connected to the energy and the reading that I did on Instagram earlier. Follow me there, xi underscore missy underscore xi. That information is also below. You can click the, the video below. The, the I can't even, art see, I can't articulate it. Waiting. Someone here is waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting for a girl like you. Yeah, they're in love or enamored at least. At the bare minimum, they're fucking entranced. They're enchanted. They're charmed at the bare minimum. I'm, I told you it felt like falling in love. Someone here is falling in love. But it kind of gives me this, you know, sort of picture in my head of the way that they're just like this. How he's leaning on his fucking rake. Actually, it looks like a hoe. Not that kind of hoe. The garden hoe. He's just like, like puppy, eye, puppy eyes. Swooning in love. Though I never laid a hand on you, my eyes adore you. Their eyes are adoring the pentacles. The magic, the aura of you, your energy. Your je ne sais quoi. Jesus Christ, the nine of cups fell right on that red rose. 
The Red Rose always makes me feel and remember and think of Beauty and the Beast. True love breaks the curse, breaks the spell. This type of a love transcends, right? It's, it's, it's the kind of love that all the great poets all the great authors have written about all the beautiful songs are written about it's that type of a love nine of cups is wish fulfillment barely even friends then somebody bends unexpectedly someone could bend unexpectedly something shifts there's a spark that oh my god ace of fucking cups bitch it's love There's a spark of love and it's a really big deal. Oh my God, King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Stop it. Holy shit balls. That's a love offer. It keeps coming up every day. A love offer. And this is not the kind of person where this love offer will come and it will be less than what you deserve. It will be everything you deserve. It'll be more than you even knew you wanted and, and, and desired. This King of Pentacles is someone here who is very financially stable. They have a lot of money. They're, it could be, they could be wealthy. So this is a person here who's very consistent. They're loyal. They're very dependable and responsible. This could be someone very good in business. And you can see the way he's looking down at his pentacle and holding on to it. It's as if like he, this is the kind of person that doesn't just give love offers to anybody. They're very selective and they're, they hold their, their heart close, close to them. Now they hold their feelings. They don't wear their, 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 their heart on their sleeve. They, they don't just, they just, they just don't. So someone here who holds it close. So when they offer, it's a really big deal. They've been in contemplation over offering this. They've thought about it. They've obsessed over it. They have weighed out the pros and the cons. Seven of Wands. And the Six of Wands. Oh, there's victory here. If, if, if either of you, you or them, are the type to clam up in love situations, you will not be able to do that with this connection. All the defenses melt away. You can't even have your guards up with this one because it just, it's like impossible. And the tower sitting right there too. I mean, you got two towers, a clock tower and the tower. And as we know, the tower and the tarot deck symbolizes unexpected, out of left field, sudden, there's a sudden shift here, or it suddenly arrives. Does a love offer suddenly arrive, or does someone suddenly make you a love offer? Someone that's an ongoing connection? Lightning strikes every time they look at you. I mean, look at that. I mean, you just imagine it. Lightning strikes every time they look at you. Their eyes are glowing from the lightning that strikes, or the spark. It's so symbolic. It is so symbolic. The devil I told you obsession. They're obsessed. They feel like they can't let this go. That's Capricorn energy as well, too. They can't let it go. They're hooked. They're hooked on you. This is not an unhealthy obsession. It's not where it takes over their entire life and they're not able to function. This is not Joe from you. This is not a fatal attraction, bunny boiling. This is mutual. This is a mutual obsession and it's very balanced because again, he comes up as king of pentacles. It's not someone that's emotionally unstable, someone delusional, right? Someone that just like can't decipher between what's real and what's not. This is, this is a very practical person. They, they, they just, they, they know. Three of cups. Page of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. I told you they've sort of gone back and forth on this. They've debated. They've thought about it. It's caused them like stress. The, communicating with you causes them anxiety because Nine of Swords can be a card of anxiety, right? Could be a card of um, sleepless nights, restlessness, unsure, worry. 
They're just, they're, I t you know how it's always the ones, too. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. Hey, hi, me. Are you so beautiful? Oh, my God. I'm in love with you. Mm, those, those are always the ones that it's not you. <laughs> Hashtag not you. This is not that. This is, they don't even say, they don't say that. They would never say that. If they say it, it's because it's this, it, it'll just boil over like that. This is not that. This person doesn't know how to articulate it. They don't know what to say. They're not the best communicator of feelings. And they most certainly don't want to screw this up. They would never shoot their shot multiple times at you. This is not a person that has repetitively tried to get you to notice them or talk to them or speak to them or you, they don't do that. They don't do that. They keep it to themselves until they're absolutely positively sure. When they come, they come correct. There is a bit of unsureness here though. They're unsure about how it will be received. So they wanna be absolutely sure it will be received well, but there might be a moment that it just comes out and it's a, it's a spontaneous. Spontaneously just spurts out of them. All I know is their eyes adore you. Holy shit, do their eyes adore you. Wait a second. Sorry, I'm getting all these texts. I mean, what else do you say? They love and adore you. Temptation. You tempt them like no other. No one else has that ability to make them waver on things. Love confession. It's just nonstop, the same energy. It's nonstop. It's the same energy. It's the same concept. It's they're going to spill it at some fucking point because it's been so hidden. It's been so suppressed. They've been tempted on multiple occasions to say it, to text you, to tell you. And this would be someone who has your current phone number. This would be someone who knows how to contact you, not someone that you've blocked, not someone that has to contact you, um, you know, on fucking eBay. on the Nintendo DS, you know what I mean? Past life connection. Yeah, look at him, he's a smooth operator. Very cool, calm and collected businessman. This is someone who's very cool, calm and collected. Let's say your person's not a, biz a businessman. Missy, he's a cowboy. Well, it's, it's gonna be a like Yellowstone where they're fucking still wealthy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he, Missy, he's a plumber, right? And he owns like five plumbing businesses and he's balling. Like, you know what I mean? Doesn't have to necessarily be a man that gets dressed up in a suit every day and goes to work in the office. Whoever this, he could suit up and go out there and play on the field, honey. Whoever this is, is very business oriented or they make a lot of money, okay? That's just that energy that comes through. But when we're talking about divine masculine, it means that they are at a higher vibration frequency wise. This is not someone who's playing games. It's not a fuck boy. It's not someone that's low vibrational is the point. They're of a higher caliber devotion. See, that's how they are. They're, they're hopelessly devoted to you. Ooh, ooh. Affection. I mean, they're fucking in love. They're, they're, they have great affection for you. This is like them, right? My head is saying, fool, forget them. My heart is saying, don't let go. See, they're obsessed. They are obsessed. It's only you. You're the only one. They, don't, they, they only have eyes for you 
example, you guys are so lucky today that they're singing 17 songs to me. Because when they sing it to me, I'm going to sing it to you. That's why I sing it. Because it's how I hear it in my head. Girl power, self-love. Yeah, this feminine here is a divine feminine. She knows her fucking worth. She, and they know that. And they know their worth. These are two people coming together that both know their worth. They're not low vibrational. They're not toxic. They don't want to be codependent. These are not two people that are looking to sort of... Um, lean into the other and codepend on each other. This, it's not that. You have infatuation. I mean, it's just nonstop. Twin flame. It's a mirror soul. See, you guys are on the same wavelength. It's like looking in a mirror as far as like, you know, frequency wise. We're talking about not with the, the naked muggle eyes. We're talking about like this and frequency energy. You guys are equally yoked. And oh, there's that word again. For the uneducated and for the people that are so Oh, bunny. When we say that, we're not talking about eggs. Maybe before you, 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 you correct somebody, you go Google it. If you were to go Google that, it would pop right up of what it is. You could go down a rabbit hole educating yourself or finding out what a word means before you correct a person. You guys are like this, neck and neck. You guys are just at the same level. Like, you, it's just like this. You're a perfect match. But the, but the masculine here stresses. He stresses about communicating this. He stresses about what he's feeling because he's not sure. And then once he is sure, now how do I articulate this? What if they reject me? What if they reject me and say, ill? All right, the worst somebody can say is not no, it's ill. You have tap two imprinted. I mean, they're, they're never going to be the same again now that they have seen you. They know you. There's no way they'll move on from this just like that. No way. There's no way this person's just going to move on like that. They can't. You've both imprinted on each other. It's this energy of... Um, I mean, it's literally like the wolves in twilight, how they imprint on a person. Once they imprint on a person, there is nobody else. I don't care if it's the most attractive physically person. It doesn't fucking matter. They will never, ever, ever not feel the connection with that person they imprint upon. It's just, it's all encompassing. Nobody else, everybody else ugly. Everybody else is not very great everybody is just mediocre they only have eyes for that person and it's not just physical attraction it's a soul connection it goes to the bones this is an extremely deep connection we keep feeling this i mean fuck we've been i mean it's like every day love offer comes out and when it does come out it's going to be sudden right of course unexpected of course um but I think you're going to feel it coming, but you can't see it, right? But you can feel like, I don't know, man. This energy's kind of weird. I don't know. Or maybe for some of you, it's just completely off guard. Like you completely get thrown for a loop, hidden truths and nostalgic. Someone misses you, but they don't show it. They miss the fuck out of you, but they don't show it. They think about you all the time. They might be looking at your old messages, looking at your pictures. Past life, absolutely past life connection. Mm-hmm. There's a deep past life connection here. That's why it makes it so much more profound, pampered. Oh, this person is going to be so sweet and tender with you. They're going to be so sweet and tender with you. They're going to love you the way you always deserve to be loved. All the love that you gave and never received back, this person gives to you. It's deep. Oh, honey, it's deep. Tickled pink perfect timing there's a tower again clock tower everything in divine perfect timing tickled pink is where like you guys both just you know that kind of a feeling there's a connection between the two of you people are can, if, if you guys are like in physical proximity of people and you're connecting people are like watching because the two of you are like it's like a fucking connection that is so obvious someone here blushes a lot when either they're talking to you or when when they're reading your messages or when they think about you they smile and they blush you have this ability to bring that out of them comfort 
fantasizing. Oh, they definitely fantasize about you in between the sheets, bitch. In bed. I mean, of course they're going to think about those things. They're extremely physically attracted to you. So even though we say, well, it's going to be like the sacred love, and it's just, oh my God, it's just, they're still going to want a bone. Do you know what I mean? They still want a bone. <sighs> they, may, they may literally dream about you. But it also is about fantasizing. They fantasize about being with you intimately. Bitch, that's friendship. Earlier on my live on Instagram, we had the card from the Hidden Truths Oracle, I want to be more than friends. Remember what I sang earlier from Beauty and the Beast? Barely even friends, then somebody bends unexpectedly. Just a little change, small to say the least, both a little scared, neither one prepared, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I feel you leaving me behind. Some of you feminines might, you know, if it's an ongoing connection, have had to sort of let them go, especially if they're not on the same level. If they have lacked prior to their rise up, because they do rise up, remember they, they come in as divine masculine. This could be the prequel, right? This happened prior. They weren't the right vibration and some of you had to cut them off or, you know, the dynamic changed um you have to move on we both know i'm not the one for you they know that because at that vibration that they're not if they're not going to meet you where you are they know it's not going to happen because you're not going to waver you're not going to lower yourself to anything less than i lost myself for a little while i'm so attracted to you I mean, we did talk about how very physically attracted they are to you. Very. I bury myself in work to forget you. I left when I saw you with someone. They get jealous. This person gets very jealous. They're very territorial. That's why this person takes commitment so serious. Because when they give, they give their, their, whole, their, their, their whole body, mind, and soul. They give all of themselves. And they don't fucks with anything less so that if you guys are together, they expect the same. They want loyalty. They want all eyes on them too, right? Like they just, they're not, they're not fucking with that shit. You're mine. It's that kind of a feeling. You know what I mean? They're not cool with you over there giggling and laughing with some dude that's trying to pick you up. They're not cool with that. You're mine. It's that kind of a feeling. They're very, very territorial. And not in a low vibrational, toxic way either, but in a way of they, they, they just view a committed relationship as special and sacred. And, and they, they give their honor and their word. You know what I mean? And like for them, that's a big deal. They uphold that and they expect the same. Four of Cups. This masculine has definitely sat with his own thoughts. He's this when this offer comes in, you better believe they have thought it inside and out. They have weighed it out. They've made pie charts. They have made graphs. They have written down pros and fucking cons. You best believe because they have been sitting in a place of deep contemplation. They've been sitting with themselves and their thoughts and their feelings, trying to make sense of it, trying to figure it out. Let's get into your extended. Should you wish to rent it, click below this video, the word more. All the links will come up. Click on the first one. It'll take you to my website. And you're going to look for the extended reading slash special love slash oracle readings. A reminder, I am not doing any personal readings at all. It's zero. I'm still trying to catch up with the previous ones from before from people. So I'm not accepting any. Um, 
Make sure you follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. I appreciate the engagement here, the liking and commenting and sharing here, as well as on YouTube, uh, Instagram, because it keeps us in the algorithm apparently. Okay, so I really do appreciate your guys' support here and there. All right, I'll see you in the extended. Love you, bye.